Hello everyone, uh, this is Williamson. Uh, this is, video is a bit of an update to my last one, uh, which was uh, about this, which is an automatic charcoal factory. So basically the uh, trees uh, grow here and are then uh, pushed up by a column of sand uh, through uh, here into this kiln, uh, which is a long tube, and then comes out here. Um, if you haven't seen my previous video, I'd recommend uh, that you uh, watch it as I'm about to uh, go through some stuff which you probably won't get if you haven't seen uh, the previous one, because um, I break down the contraption over there. So it's um, about the first half uh, of the video is about the different parts going to it. Now, uh, after I posted the last video, a couple of people uh, kind of uh, gave me some uh, suggestions about kind of ways to improve this, uh, and the first one was um, in the uh, thread I made, um, and it was that um, rather than these t um, poor um, redstone timers I've made um, to use uh, turntables instead, seeing as they're specifically made to uh, uh, to uh, run things like bellows and uh, because it's consistent it probably worked quite well for something that relies on timing um, um, yeah due to a glitch my uh, all the redstone in my world froze so I had to go through and fix a few things um, before making this video now the second comment wasn't actually addressed to me it was addressed to someone uh, on the forums in the session forum asking for an upgrade to uh, birch trees, uh, these ones, uh, to make them better for automation. And uh, it was Stormweaver who replied and said uh, that obviously blood trees are the new automation tree, but that thanks to block dispensers being used to counters, the wiring can be much simpler now. So that got me thinking, and I decided to revisit uh, the log farm and um, basically simplify it and make it much uh, much smaller and much simpler to build, um, particularly trying to get rid of this top bit here. Now the result of that is over here, and as you can see it uh, is a lot smaller at the top, literally it's just um, the signal com coming up through here and then a slight delay so that it's in sync with the trees that come up. Um, and then that's it basically. So what's been added down here, um, well if anything this has got quite a bit simpler as well. Um, here we've got our block dispenser which is actually the counter, so we've got a bunch of wool slabs uh, and a uh, wool block at the end. So uh, this section here is the same as it was before. Uh, this bit along here with the detection going into a monostable circuit over here is the same. Um, this is the off off uh, switch for that, uh, and that's just uh, at that angle just because it, it uh, made sense for the positioning. Um, and that's pretty much the same as well. So um, the, the thing that's really changed is this, and this is uh, basically saying when to start going back down, as opposed to the gap in the water flow, which is how it's working over there. Um, so if I just show this in action. Now the downside to having done it this way is it is much cheaper, but the tree seems to mostly take long to grow. Here it took a couple, but I've had some which took quite a bit longer. Um, so that's a bit of a negative, but as you can see, uh, it's coming up. Um, the block dispensers counting out uh, the wall, and as you can see, this route to the top that has just placed. Uh, whoops! Looks like that's uh, at a slight little glitch. No problem there. I'll just run that again. <laughs> Now, uh, the reason this only works in one particular way is that's what these three repeaters are for, and they bring the looped, uh, the output of the monostable circuit over to here, which then anded uh, with the s the clock, so the clock which is running on off turntable now, um, comes along here, they're anded together, it's a bit of an awkward shape, but that's just because of the space I'm going to work with, um, so that's the end there and then that's fed into there. So I run this again 
It'll either be the same as before or it'll have fixed it. Oh no, I know what it was. It was uh, too many blocks over here. So that should work now. So if we watch down here, we'll see that should stop. There we go. Um, because of a slight little glitch there, a bit of sand is lost on each cycle. Um, so that's a slight problem. Okay, so there you go, it's fixed itself. Um, that was just because there were too many logs here, because I haven't got a collection system things this proof of concept. Um, now, obviously, with being simpler, it's quite a bit less expensive than the other one as well. Um, and I actually counted out um, the total costs um, of the uh, total farm. So in total, it costs um, about a hundred or so redstone. Um, which, if you're at the state where you're building a uh, automatic farm, it's not really that expensive. Uh, it costs uh, one piece of gold uh, and six lapis for the eyes for the detector block. Uh, it also costs uh, seven iron and uh, for the pistons and um, six clay for the three uh, block dispensers so um, that's that one that one and the planter one now the added advantage here is because it's been reduced in size at the top um, you can basically make a much thinner building uh, if you want to and obviously there's, there's room for all sorts of other stuff down here you could even uh, uh, probably bring this back round uh, if you had saws, if you were for some reason uh, attaching this to a, a sawmill, you could just stick that under there. As long as you're not in this space, uh, in a 5x5 five five around the sapling, that's fine. Um, and this bit around the bottom is slightly larger, but that, I mean, you could have ground level here and just bury this lot, so that doesn't actually uh, affect it. So I'll just demonstrate, there we go. It's only taken a couple, so it looks like growth had just kind of bugged as well at the beginning. Okay. So that's being pushed up. So if you look here, this is on. So it's uh, feeding through here, turning this off, so the clock signal is coming through here and turning this on and off. So when this places the wool block, uh, there we go, that comes down, turns that off. So this is on, so that stays off and it stops placing blocks. That's simple, and it means we don't have any overflow, and it all works quite well. So, uh, this has been uh, an update to the log farm. Um, have, a, have a good day.